Namaste. Have you been? It's good to apply our energetic gains to the physical techniques. So for today, let me share with you a simple breathing pattern you can do when you practice forward jumps. I will be focusing more on the breath, timing, coordination, and movement. All right, so in Downward Facing Dog. Inhale, lifting your heels, and then that will inevitably shift the weight forward. Yeah? Inhaling, and exhale. Don't lose that shifting body. Yeah. Inhale, there are like two ways you can do this actually more than that, but let me just give you two types of breathing pattern. Yeah? Yeah. Inhale, exhale. Now inhale, halfway through inhalation, yeah, bend and then you jump up to stand. Inhale, and up to stand. So like, yeah. Inhale, catch the buoyancy, perform a light kumbaka, and then spring yourself up to uh, the forward jump. Yeah, and then just finish your inhalation while you're up in the air. And exhale, land your feet. So let's repeat that one more time. Yeah. Exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, <laughs> land your feet down. So that is actually well, very light because you're not finishing the breath yet, and then you use yeah the drawing of the breath up, yeah, the traction. Yeah, to um, shift and then bring you forward. And that will yeah, require you to engage some upper back strength yeah, so you don't topple over because that is too light. So engaging the back, yeah, hugging the shoulders up to your, the back of the neck, and of course, engaging your yeah, physical strength. All right, second technique. You can actually finish the whole inhalation. Inhale and then sit, crouch, and then perform a light kumbaka, like you want to clip, keeping the buoyancy inside. Yeah, so when you jump up, yeah, that um, becomes your support, yeah, the lightness. So let's do a demonstration. Yeah. Exhale here. Inhale, lighten the heels. Exhale. Inhale. Clip. And up to start. All right, let's do that one more time. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling, inhaling, push, clap, and have to stand. Yes, yeah, so while you're up in the air, since you finished your inhalation already, so you do a kumbaka inhale. Yeah, up, yeah, and then when you feet land, you exhale. All right, so there are other ways you might. Do that uh, at the first um, part of your inhalation, like set inhale, and then all the way up to your stance, so, such as yeah, exhaling, yeah, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, and up to stand. All right. So many ways you can do that a quarter into your inhalation, or even yeah, you might do your your. 90% inhalation yeah, before you jump up. Yeah, so what's important is, all right, the principle is using the bandhas and how to channelize the lightness, the buoyancy of the breath, yeah, depending on your structure, definitely, depending on your nature. Because some people, yeah, they're too light in the hips. Uh, they don't have to really breathe all the way up. So maybe just a light clip, yeah, will do the trick. For some people, yeah, what they do is they finish the whole inhalation and then prepare and then up. Yeah. So what's important is you feel the lightness. That's your bandits. Yeah. And then in the forward jump and any other uh, techniques where we lift ourselves off the ground so we can find it right here. And then this serves as our buffer, our lightness, our buoyancy. So if we transfer our weight forward away from the gravity, this keeps us light, the sensation of the breath. Similarly, when you do your pranayama, right? Breathing in, you allow the sensation to remain yeah, higher up in the mouth suspension. So while you're holding the kumbaka, yeah, 
your inner organs and the weight of the body in the spine, they remain light and supported. Yeah, it's the same <laughs> principle <laughs> you do when you do your asana, even meditation. Yeah, so when you're lying down still, and med- but in meditation, you're just using a very subtle band activation. And then just suspend your awareness up, yeah, while you do your stillness. All right, thank you, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a lovely day. Namaste.